Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and it is time to talk about YouTube. Um, I've been making videos since 2009. I think I was 19 when I made my first video reviewing the Masahiro Shadow Warrior Katana. And I've come a, a really long way since then. I know some of the people who are watching this have been here since the very beginning. Some of you just got here during the uh, fiasco a few months ago. But either way, I'm glad to have had you all along for the ride. And I hope to have you with me for a long time into the future. Um, today I wanted to discuss my opinions on YouTube. This video has been a long time coming. While I've been making videos for a long time, as long as some of the uh, really popular YouTubers that are going strong now, if not longer, I've never really been, like, one of them, even though my videos kind of fit into that category and I have a lot of the same viewers who watch some of the uh, big mainstream stuff. But what I'm trying to say is that I've never really wanted to be a super popular YouTuber like that. Because one of my favorite things about making videos is how involved I can be with my viewers. If I had like 15 million views on every video, I wouldn't be able to keep track of anything. As it is, I go through comment threads now and again. I respond to people who ask questions. Whenever somebody sends me a private message or an email, I answer every one of them unless it's something like completely benign and pointless. But um... Whenever somebody asks a legitimate question, just wants to chat, I'm always there. I try to game with anyone who wants to play video games with me, but um, that's becoming really difficult because my Steam friends list has fallen. I have a backlog of invites that are over 100 people long. So as sad as, as, sad as it is, I can't do anything to sort that out. I mean, now and again, I try to remove people who haven't been online in like a month, but... There's, uh, there's really not much I can do. What I do want to say is if you want to contact me, like, you can email me at any time at fatswordsman at gmail.com. Somebody emails me a legitimate question and just wants to talk, I'll always be good for a chat. I'll always answer any questions that I know the answer to. Just try to keep things intelligent and, like, on some kind of point, and I'll be glad to talk to anybody. Um... Comments, well, I wish I could answer every comment like I used to back in my first videos, back when I only had like one or two thousand subscribers. I really wish I could still do that, but unfortunately, it's a complete impossibility at this point. I keep on them for two, three days, but then there's just too many to sort through and too many videos. I got over a hundred videos and people are still commenting on the oldest ones today and I just can't keep up with them. So, um, send me a private message and, I, you know, I actually wouldn't recommend sending me a private message because I will get to it eventually, I can promise you that, but, um, I just kind of forget about YouTube messages now and again and I go like one or two weeks without checking them, so an email is definitely the most reliable way to contact me. Um, oh yeah, let me talk about my book for a second. Um, most of you probably know that I published a book called Demon's Plague. I advertised it on my channel uh, a few months back, and it sold all right. I've sold about 90 copies so far. Um, got a good deal of cash from that, helped me pay some bills, so that was fantastic. Um, and it's still for sale. I guess I'll put a link in the video description if any of you uh, new viewers want to go check that out. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, I want to talk about um, ads and, like, sponsorships involving YouTube. And I know a lot of people, they say that they'd be totally willing if I put ads on my video, uh, on my videos, which, like, kind of weirds me out because I've always had ads on my videos. I don't know if everybody has ad block or really what's going on because I enable uh, skippable video ads. I will never enable non-skippable ads on my videos because those are just, like, I know personally, no matter how much I like a YouTuber, if I get an unskippable ad, I am not watching that video ever. And that's like the end of that. So no matter what, I will never allow unskippable ads on my videos. So I allow uh, sidebar ads. I allow skippable video ads. I allow some of the sponsored stuff. But um, I'll never allow unskippable ads, I keep saying. But, I mean, there are ads on my videos. 
the only videos I don't put ads on are ones like this, so I'm just talking, or my uh, gaming videos where I'm playing AAA games that will get uh, copyright hits if I do. So, um, I don't really know where that's coming from. Maybe just everybody has ad block and forgets about it, but, I mean, also my ads, as I said, are unobtrusive. I never put the ones that just really are all in your face. So I try to keep it simple, but I do have ads on my videos, and I do get a little bit of money from them now and again. It's not much at all, but it does help. Um, now about sponsorships. I have in my YouTube inbox right now a total of nine messages marked as probably spam that are from a whole bunch of, I don't even know what they're called, but generally people who want to like help me run my YouTube channel, they put like targeted ads or tell me what to plug and just general all kinds of nonsense. And I don't know if that would help me get more money. I don't know if it would help me get more viewers. But I keep getting so many of them. And I am never going to accept it. Because I like running my channel by myself. I'm not going to have anybody else telling me what to advertise. I'm never going to have anybody else trying to post videos on my own channel. And this is like my channel. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And nobody else is ever going to do anything to it. So I might be losing money. I might be, I might not have as many viewers as I could. But that's not what matters to me. What matters is making the videos that I want to make. When I want to make them. Talking about what I want to talk about. And nothing else. And it's always going to be like that. I guarantee you. I will never sell out. I will never join some kind of sponsorship program. I'm always just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And that's the end of it. Nobody could talk me into doing anything that I do not immediately want to do. Uh, that's what's great about the internet. Uh, for people, they can get kind of consumed by the internet. But me, I control my own little domain of sorry internet awesomeness. And that's the way I like it. And my channel's always pretty much going to be the same as it is now. Um... Now about the gap in between CERD videos and all my gaming videos, I know that like 90% of my viewers don't give a damn about my gaming videos and I totally understand that. Personally I find gaming videos boring as hell. They are very fun to make, I like just kind of ranting off my thoughts while I'm playing them, but never in my life have I just like watched a gaming video for the hell of it. I know there are a lot of people who do like watching them, some of the biggest YouTubers are people who just do uh, Let's Plays all the time, you know. And so I got nothing against them, but they're not really my thing. But pretty much the reason I'm making them is I know I've explained this in videos in the past, but I currently live in an apartment complex. I used to have my own house, so I could just go out back and cut whatever. But nowadays I have like no privacy around where I live to where I can go cut. So if I want to make a sword video, I got to go either out on that walkway by the water or I need to go find some forest I can hide in. And lots of times where I go, there's already people there because they're just like, recre like recreational areas. There's nowhere that has like nobody ever where I can just go and make videos whenever I like. And I hate that because I, I, as I said, like half the videos I make are just on impulse. I'm, I'm sitting there just like playing a video game. Like, blah, 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 blah. I need to make a third video. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. I just, I get impulses to make videos and I just go do it. And, like, if I don't make that video within, like, 20 minutes after I get that impulse, it kind of, like, goes away and then comes back later. So if there's somebody right where I'm trying to film or some other thing distracts me, that video is likely not getting made at that time. Like, I have crippling ADHD, so I get distracted, like, insanely easy. I do love making videos. It's not like it's um, difficult for me to get up the desire to go make them. It's just that I get so easily distracted that I can make a video as badly as I want. And then something happens and it's just gone. I mean, that's, that's my brain. But um, the gaming videos pretty much are just like filler. I just ramble off my thoughts. Have something popping up on my channel now and again. And the, the main thing to remember for the people who don't like my gaming videos is that the production of gaming videos in no way delays the production of serve videos. 
But I'm gonna make a sort of video when I can make it. If there's nobody at my filming spots, if I can find a new filming spot, a sort of video will get made. And it's not like I choose to upload gaming videos instead of sort of videos. It's just like, they're, they're just filler between when I can film a sort of video. And another problem is um, bottles, because I I used to drink, like, I, I'm not going to lie, you see that I'm fat as hell, but um, I used to drink like fucking two liter things of Mountain Dew, used to have like half gallons of milk all the time, bunch of um, great big bottles, but those days are mostly past, like um, pretty much all I drink now is water out of these guys, I ain't got the phone leaning on one, but this little 500 milliliter water bottles here. Um, and those, while they are good to cut, they're small and not that impressive. And for the bigger swords, like that bitch I got back there, they um, kind of knock them around rather than cut right through because the little bottles are so light. So that's another issue, finding uh, decent targets to cut. And we do still use milk with uh, cereal and just for drinking now and again. And there are some uh, two liter jugs but nowhere near as much as I used to have when I used to be making videos like three times a week with cutting. Um, I do what I can. I wish it was like a way I could just sign up as like a partner of some kind of recycling factory or whatever where they just ship me all the big ass bottles for me to cut before I recycle them back. But um, I don't even know where I would begin getting into something like that. But that's something I want to look into or some other way to get bottles. Um, I know a lot of people want me to cut tatami, and I tried it once, and it went okay. But the problem is, my I, I can't just justify buying something. Like, a tatami mat, you can get one for like five bucks, and then you add shipping to it, there's like another five bucks. I just spent ten dollars, and like, I'm broke as fuck all the time. I never have any money, and what I do have always goes towards, you know, like, food and shelter, you know, that useless junk. <laughs> but, um, I just cannot justify buying a thing that I'm just immediately going to destroy, like, the second it gets here that has absolutely no use other than wrecking it. Um, I, I just, I can't be doing that. I'm still trying to figure out some kind of easier target that's, uh, cheaper and more easily obtainable than bottles, but the hunt isn't proving easy. So, um, Trying to think of another few things I can get off my chest here. Um, nope, I guess that's about it. Um, just wanted to let you guys know really what's going on in my videos and um, just generally my thoughts on YouTube as a whole. I try not to get involved in any of the YouTube drama, I usually just stick to the sides of it. I almost got caught up in the stuff from like a few months back, most of you probably remember that. But I kind of ducked that pretty good, just as I wanted to. And I just stay out of it. I do my own thing. Got my little surly bubble. And it's the way I like it. So, I guess that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Have a good day.